Hello everybody, I'm Teach Gio. Welcome back to this tutorial series. And in today's episode, we are going to create a very easy and simple chat listener that can also detect swear words. So to get started, I would like to create the main, of course, the on enable void on enable. Uh, and then I would like to register get server dot get plugin manager to register events just do it to this class or to a separate class if you like that more but just for the sake of this tutorial I'll keep everything in one class okay now we have the on enable method and what we are gonna do and don't forget to implement listener is we're gonna listen to async player chat event so events handler public void on player chat and let's say a sync player chat event just call it event e as always and then import the event handler and inside this player chat event there's two things i want to get first i want to get the message it'll get message and of course we're going to store that into a string string msg equals edo get message the next thing we want to do is uh, get a list of all the words that we block on our server. So I'm going to do a list of type string and call this words just like the words that we want to block. And what I would like what I would like to do is that every time I want to add a new swear word or a new variant of a swear word, I do not want to edit all my code again. So we're going to store them inside of a config.yml so we're gonna get the config and since we are in our main class uh, we can just do get config dot get string list and then just with the path of words for this tutorial say and just import the java.util and now you can see there's words but what if because in the beginning there will be no uh, string list of words so we first going to check on the server enable if that string list exists. So we're going to get config dot contains. So if it contains a uh, word, then it will return true. But because we put an exclamation mark over here, it will infer. So if it does not contain that, so if it's true, that it does not contain that, then we want to create it. Okay, to create a list of type string, uh, and just call this words as well you can use two of the same name variables uh, if they're outside of each other scope so this one is only uh, within this scope so the scope is like within the curly brackets that they have uh, if you do not know if you want to know more about scope just google it uh, words equals and new and list is not instantiable you cannot instantiate list so we're gonna create array list of the type string uh, you can also uh, do a uh, another list, but I just kind of keep it to array list because that will give me the option to add, let's say, uh, the word fish, and let's do the other words because I would like to add two words so that I can see uh, chips. Uh, so I can see how multiple words work. And now, of course, we need to add it to the config. Get config dot set, and then we're going to set the words and we're going to set it to words just like that easy as that we create a simple list now it will only listen for the words fish and chips and you can just manually edit them in you do not have to code them in etc etc and of course after we uh, did something to our config we need to save the config as well so to know whether the words contains any swear word that's also in the message you want to loop through the words um, array list it's not the most efficient way so if you are like storing a thousand of words don't do that it's only for small servers and small word lists just if you got anything bigger you want to get uh, regex and uh, much more complicated stuff which i might go in in a future episode but not for now so for now we just want to create a for loop basic for int equals zero and then we want to check if int i is lower than words dot size. Uh, it's not length with an array list or a list, it's size. And then we want to increment i with one each iteration. So what you now want to do is check if words, uh, wait, if message 
dot contains and then we want to do a words dot get at the index of i and if it contains anything of that we, then we want to set cancel the event e dot set cancelled to true and of course we want to also send the player a message send message you are not allowed to swear and that's it it's that easy it's a very basic uh, config file styled yeah chat listener that can also detect swear words and it will warn the player you can also instead that's a little challenge for today's episode you can also instead it's far more complicated than the previous one replace the swear word with uh, stars like these and I'm not gonna give any hints on that because the last challenge was way too easy for some and now it's a little bit of a difficult challenge so you need to get the word and you need to replace it with these stars and uh, let's go check this out on the server so we're inside Minecraft now, I've started the server and let's go take a look at our word detection. So if I now type uh, words, it will not block my address tests because it's uh, my version of it. I also debug with test 1, test 2, test 3 so that I can see where it goes wrong. And as you can see, test 1 is uh, called on the event uh, listener, test 2 is called on, how many, on every word. And if I now type in fish, you'll see that it's also test 3, uh, three so that it's actually uh, fully working no swearing that's a little trick I use to check if it goes wrong where it goes wrong and as you can see no swearing if I type in it's fish for today then it will also do no swearing and same with chips uh, chip not I mean chip chips it will also say no swearing so that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did Leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe if you've got any feedback or suggestions, either down below in the comment section or in the description box, there will be a link to the Discord channel. And thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.